Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Tuesday. Okay guys, so we're back to get right back into it. Um, thank you to everyone who let me have the day off yesterday. And even though it wasn't really a day off, I pre-recorded everything. It's just right now there's so much going on. And also with my glasses, I apologize about that as well. Um, only because I'm trying to heal my eye before BravoCon. I'm just trying to heal it, period, really. But you know who else is trying to heal? Apparently, Danielle and Jennifer Aiden. So we're going to jump into that because it looks like uh, Bravo did their investigation and they have a result. I feel like we kind of saw this coming. Before we jump in, do the YouTube thing, smash the like button, show some love, and let's get right into it. It's time for all your binge-worthy pop culture news. Welcome to Up and Adam. Okay, you guys. So one of the things that I love about just the Jersey drama is we really have an inside source. Like, not we personally, but all of us. All about the Real Housewives. They know everything. Now, could I obviously guess who is the one who's giving this person all of the information? Yeah, but... If you have a source, you have a source. And they're always right. So they have an inside leak. And we also have inside leaks on other franchises. So I'm not mad at it. I'm like, girl, go on and do your thing. And now she's giving us another update when it comes to Jennifer Aiden and Danielle Cabral. Let's get into this. Apparently, they have come to a conclusion, Bravo, in their investigation. Jennifer Aiden and Danielle Cabral will resume filming The Real Housewives of New Jersey amid an investigation that took place after an altercation between the two housewives. All right. All About the Real Housewives was the first to report an altercation that happened, which led to blood, bruising, and an investigation. Can I say really quick, I'm not saying anything is okay as far as, like, attacking somebody. But she took a plastic cup and crinkled it up and threw it in Jennifer's. It's not like I didn't grab my LaCroix and be like, you know what? Here we go, bitch. Or like a glass. And I'm not, I'm not trying to make it less than, but Jennifer Aiden is the same person who took a glass and bashed it over the table and was like, you want to go to Melissa Gorga? So it's like you got hit with a plastic crinkled cup and your ear somehow is bleeding. I'm not saying that couldn't happen, but what are we doing? What are we doing, ladies? Especially if you pushed her first. If you pushed her first, you put your hands on her, and you don't expect her to react, that's not just housewives or Jersey. That's anyone. Anyone? Push me. I'll just say, hey, please don't push me again. But push somebody who has, like, you know, some stamina. Okay? Anyways, get back to it. <laughs> Our inside sources are now telling us, this is all about the Real Housewives, that the investigation has been complete. The footage was reviewed by production and Bravo, and the ladies were suspended from filming for a couple of days and will resume on Tuesday. What's funny about this is I'm going to show this to you guys, and that's why I think it's so fun to always do the polls in the community tab. I asked you guys, so dropping a video update to you about Jennifer and uh, Danielle's physical altercation. Now we have an ongoing investigation as well as the ladies both being put on pause. What did you think? 4,000 votes and 22%, which was the third most voted, kind of at the bottom, Bravo just has to do this for legal. That's kind of what I was thinking. That's why it's so fun, again, to vote in the community tab. But wait, wait, wait. Okay. They said that the ladies were suspended from filming for a couple of days and they'll resume on Tuesday now that the footage has been reviewed by production and Bravo. Yeah, of course, because they had to review it. Why? Because of this woman. Because of the reality reckoning. Now that NBC is under a microscope and Bethany is saying, oh, well, certain cast members are forced to drink. Certain cast members are forced to do other things. Like, now that that's happening, yeah, of course. NBC and Bravo, they're going to do their due diligence and make sure that this does not happen. 100%. And that's exactly what they did. They're like, you know what? We're going to conduct an investigation. It's kind of like the same thing that they did when they protected Ramona Singer. 
with Ebony K. Williams because they asked around and they got the answers that they wanted to get. Nothing against Bravo, but they got the answers that they wanted to get about Ramona not saying something like what she said. And then they passed over Heather Thompson because they didn't want to get that answer. Had they have gotten that answer that Heather Thompson, who was also there, would have given them, then Ramona's out. And Ramona makes them a lot of ad revenue. So they weren't going to do that. You know who didn't make them a lot of ad revenue? Was Ebony K. Williams. Not because she was Ebony K. Williams, but because she was new on the show. It's like Leah McSweeney. It's like Jennifer Pedranti. It's like bringing in the newbie Courtney on Real Housewives of Atlanta or Angie K on the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. They're new. We're not invested. So they don't make you a lot of ad revenue. That's how it works. But let's keep going. An employee at Bookins told them that Jackie Goldschneider will be promoting her book, The Way to Beautiful, at 6 p.m. on September 26th. That's today. And that Bravo will be there to film the event with Housewives making an appearance. Another inside source adds that Danielle Cabral will be hosting another bougie luncheon event on Wednesday following the altercation that will be filmed for the Real Housewives of New Jersey. But it looks like Jennifer and Danielle won't be around each other. So things got so heated when they were together with Danielle getting in Jennifer's face after an argument. See, this is the one thing, my one qualm with All About the Real Housewives because it's like, with Danielle getting in Jennifer's face, she got pushed. Push, like push someone. What do you think they're going to do? I don't know what part, uh, like neck of the woods you're from. And again, not condoning violence. But if somebody pushes you, you're asking for this to be escalated. Because you are now entering their own personal physical space. You don't put your hands on people. It's like, I don't know what world that you live in. Maybe Jennifer Aiden just grew up very different. I, I don't know. But you can't put your hands on people. Don't touch them. Don't say like, oh, hey, you know, like don't talk down to them condescending and be like, you know, oh, well, I just good luck to you, sweetheart or babe and or. And you got a plastic cup upside the head? Not condoning it. But like, what did you expect? Can I say if Drita was on the show, if Drita from Mob Wives was on the show, and you sat there and you pushed her, it'd be a whole nother level. But wait, 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 wait. Danielle immediately went in Jennifer's face screaming, I see you, while others tried to get her to back away. She would not step away from Jennifer Aiden's face, so Jennifer pushed her shoulder to back off. It's not how I heard that happen. That's when Danielle grabbed a drink and threw it upside Jennifer's face, resulting in blood. That was the plastic cup that she crinkled up and she threw. People were screaming, she's bleeding, and Danielle did not care. She made it like she was wanting to keep going. Jennifer was even left bruised after the cup broke on her. You can't be Billy Badass and then be... You, you can't be the villain and you can't be the victim at the same time. It's like you can't be smart and you can't be stupid. You got to pick one. Which one are you? Are you the villain or are you the victim? Are you smart or are you stupid? I hate the word stupid, but you got to pick a lane. Everybody always says to me on here, Adam, you need to be more opinionated. Adam, you're always playing Switzerland. Well, here, this is me not playing Switzerland. Pick a lane. Are we the villain or are we the victim? Jennifer Aiden is very confusing to me. I feel like she is the Plaza Hotel revolving door, and I don't know what... Oh, no. Quit me, and I'll fuck you up. Oh, no. Pick a lane. Which one are you? You didn't push Margaret Josephs when she said your husband was having an affair. What? Guys, go ahead and comment below. I'm so... I'm so interested in what you have to say. Comment below, smash that like button, show some love, and we'll see you next time.